is very clear that reconciliation is dead. Uh, a majority of Australians have said no to uh, an invitation from Indigenous Australia with a minimal proposition uh, to give us a, a bare say in matters that affect our lives. And to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, I want to say this. I know the last few months have been tough, but be proud of who you are. Be proud of your identity. Be proud of the 65,000 years of history and culture that you are part of and your rightful place in this country. Our government will continue to listen to people and to communities. Our government will continue to seek better outcomes for Indigenous Australians and their children and the generations to come. This is not only in the interests of Indigenous Australians, it is in the interests of all Australians to build a better future for our nation. Well, Paul, I think there's a real arrogance in the way in which uh, the Prime Minister's uh, approached his discussion with the Australian people. Even tonight in his speech, you can hear the words almost of contempt uh, for the Australian people dripping from, uh, from what he's saying. And that doesn't have any place. About 65 or 70 per cent of Australians, uh, depending on where you are in the country, have expressed a very strong rejection of the Prime Minister's proposal.